What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cinema Trip Previews. I am Wyatt, and today I'm going to be watching the trailer for The Crow that just dropped today, starring Bill Skosgård as Eric Draven. It's the new remake slash reimagining of The Crow. Um, before we get into it, I just want to kind of apologize for the lack of content over the past couple weeks. Haven't really been feeling the best, um, but I am already have some stuff recorded. It's going to start editing that. We will be consistently releasing new reviews here going forward. But I wanted to kickstart some things by doing a trailer reaction because it's been quite a while since I've done one of these. And what better movie to do it for than the crow which is one of my favorite fucking movies of all time i love the graphic novel i love the original movie with brandon lee uh i haven't really seen any of the sequels just because i didn't really want to kind of taint what the original meant for me and i know you really shouldn't you know you shouldn't really kind of look at sequels like that or remakes like that as far as tainting the original one. Um, but that's why I'm trying to keep an open mind with this one. Uh, even when it was announced, I really wasn't a fan of remaking The Crow in any way. I mean, this has been in the works for, what, like 10, 15 years now or something. I know Jason Momoa was attached to it at one point. Um, it's gone through different iterations. They used to call it like the curse of The Crow because of every time they would try to remake it or do another sequel, something else would happen. Um, but they finally did it. They went out here. Them sons of bitches did it. Uh, I was not a fan of the screenshots that came out, you know, of, of Bill Skarsgård as the crow. And it's like it looked like Jared Leto's Joker. Um, it didn't look great at all. And I didn't have high hopes for this movie whatsoever. But I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to keep my mind open going into this. I mean, hopefully the trailer kind of changes my mind of, from where I was before because I was just kind of immediately throwing this in the trash bin just to seeing those initial like screenshots and screen grabs of, of bill skosgar with that die antwerd mullet and everything looking like a little peep like they like the director said they like it just doesn't make any sense to me uh is eric draven gonna be a rapper in this movie i don't know uh it'll be like little crow or something like that <laughs> um but without further ado we are gonna get right into the trailer here the crow 2024 What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person? Got some ass in the shop. You feel like, like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. Oh, it's that guy. I shouldn't have seen any of it. They just get suffocated to death. He doesn't get thrown out of window right now. When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Is he supposed to be like the skeleton cowboy comics? Until you put the just wrong things movie. right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. Those dogs are jacked. God damn. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I'm killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. you become you know that love promises only pain you have no idea what hell awaits you no i do how many people have you loved i'll never be alone Christ. 
I don't know. Initial reaction, I don't know if Bill Skarsgård was right for this role. I just, I don't, it's just some of the cadence in his voice when he's talking. It just doesn't, I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. I don't know what it is. Um, the whole look, like the no shirt with the trench coat and everything, dude looks like he's trying to be like Mac or Dennis and Always Sunny with the duster and everything. <laughs> uh, and just not a fan of just like the the black around the eyes and stuff. Like, I, I, I feel like it's missing the white paint, you know, the white makeup as well. Um, I'm all here for the ultra violence. I love the bloodshed and everything that's going on through the trailer. Uh, I'm down with that. It's just, it's just missing certain things. Like, I know it's not trying to exactly be the original Crow, and nor can we expect it to be like the original Crow. But there's just certain sim like certain things in there we we're kind of like maybe expecting like maybe the white makeup on the face, uh, maybe more of a gothic feel to it, similar to the comics in the original movie. Like it, it seems like it's just going completely modern with it. You know, you have the the rap stuff in the trailer, like some of the music mixed with like I don't know, it sounded like Ozzy, um, but it was also some like mumble rap stuff mixed in there as well. It seemed some trap stuff. Um, it definitely seems like it's trying to cater to a modern audience in some way. It seems like Shelly may have witnessed something that she shouldn't have, and then they that's the reason they, they really came for her. And then Eric, unfortunately, was the wrong place at the wrong time. Looks like he ended up getting killed too. Um, it's looking like he's being guided by like in the comic, it was like that skeleton cowboy type dude. In this one, it just looks like it's some random guy that's kind of guiding him on his journey through death and his path of vengeance. It, it, this is this is such a mixed bag for me because like the, the initial screenshots, I hate I just hated the look of them. I really just didn't know what to make of it until the trailer came out. And after the trailer released, I liked some parts of it. Like I liked the ultra violence of it. It seems like they're really diving into more of a past with you know Shelly and Eric. Like they're actually going to be showing them a lot more than you had in the original. Or, the original, you just kind of had scenes of them either just hanging out or laughing for a couple seconds, and then it just cuts to, you know, the brutality, the rape, and the murder and stuff that happened. Um, we didn't really have a lot of time with those characters or a lot of backstory with them where it's looking like they may have met in, like, a, an institution or some kind of prison or something like that, and that's really how they connected. Just not really a fan of the design, in a way. Just, like, the whole just tattoos everywhere, no shirt with a trench coat. I, and just like the black around the eyes, and especially his like quiet voice and stuff like it, it, that doesn't spell badass for me. And the same with that other movie that's coming out with Bill Skarsgård, uh, Boy, Boy Kills World, I believe it's called. I just don't buy Bill Skarsgård as like an action guy or just like a hero or anti-hero or just guy that's like in all these action movies. He just doesn't, you know, he just doesn't ring like that type of character for me. He just doesn't work. It just seems like they could have found somebody else to do this. Like, in my opinion, maybe Jason Momoa would have been better in this situation. I mean, he is fucking big and jacked already. So maybe you, you wanted someone skinnier and then they get jacked for it looks like he has kind of a transformation in the trailer. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's I I feel like this made things a little like even more mixed in my opinion because there are certain elements of the trailer I did like and there are certain elements that I didn't like about it. Um, I like that Eric Draven is just full on just out here murking people no matter what cost. We saw him like stab through himself and shoot through himself to kill some people. It definitely looks like it's going to be a very very bloody and uh, you know action packed time. I just wish we had a little bit more of that gothic feel to it. Uh, I'm not saying it has to be completely like the original or anything, but I just wish we had more of a gothic feel to it, a little bit more dark to it. It, it seems like it's a little too clean. Even though there's a ton of a lot of blood and killing and stuff, it seems like it's a little too clean. Maybe that's just like 2024 Hollywood movies and stuff nowadays. You're not getting the grittiness that you were back in the old days old days 90s well <laughs> old 90s are old days now this is this is very mixed i'm not going to come out and just say it's complete trash or anything right now obviously without seeing the movie um i will check out the movie i will most likely have a review of it when it comes out um i will be going to the theaters to see this you know it's just because i love the crow I'm eager to give it a chance, even though I didn't give any of the other sequels a chance because I heard how much ass they are. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll eventually go out and watch those sequels, you know, leading up to this one and maybe have a video on that or something. I don't know. Um, 
I, I I really don't know. I feel like this made me more even this trailer made me even more conflicted than I did previously. And one of the best things about the original Crow was the soundtrack. It had a fucking amazing soundtrack. Um I'm eager to kind of see what soundtrack they put together for this one. Cause I mean, in the trailer, we kind of had some like trap stuff mixed with like, it sounded like Ozzy. Like I mentioned before, I'm not sure if it was or not. And I would most likely have to give it another listen. Um, I, I just don't know what the soundtrack is going to be like for this. Are they going to include some, some trap or rap in there? Are they going to tr- include some old rock stuff? Are they going to bring burn back by the, by the cure or have a new version of burn? I can see them totally do it. Like revamping some songs from the old soundtrack for this new one. I don't know, man. Um, I don't have high hopes for this movie whatsoever. I mean, there were certain elements of the trailer I liked, um, but I, I, it's hard for me going into this because I don't know if I'm ever going to have, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to change my opinion that Bill Skarsgård wasn't the right choice for this role um, or that the movie should have even been done in general. But since, you know, they're going to you know, try to capitalize on a property like this, it's going to be done one way or another. Um, I just I feel like Bill Skarsgård was such a weird actor to choose for this type of role, you know? Um I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they prove me wrong. I'm hoping Bill Skarsgård proves me wrong. If, if my opinion he fucking means anything to anybody, most likely 100% not. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. I will be there most likely opening weekend to check out this movie, drop a review for everybody whenever it comes out. So here's hoping. I'm actually probably going to go watch the original Crow now because this trailer made me want to go watch the original one. So uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, as always. Make sure to go check us out on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Cinema Trip Reviews. Also, wherever you get your podcasts, drop in and leave us a good review there. And we'll see everybody next time.